What's going on good people? This is SQL Sekou checking in and in this video I want to show you how to use the dimension field to control the colors in your visuals and like always I'm going to do this in Power BI and Tableau. Also if you haven't already please like, share, subscribe, comment, and connect with me on YouTube. I really appreciate it. So now let's hop into it. I'll show you how to do this in Tableau. All right, in Tableau, we have two visuals that are created. I have one with a bar chart and one with a pie chart. And now what I want to do is I want to change the color based on my category field. So to do that, if I just go into the worksheet, if I come in here and I go to my actual category and if I just drag my category on the color, it will change the color on the worksheet. So now we see my category is blue, orange, red, or if I click on color here, I have the ability to edit the color. So now if I were to come in here and just change, let's say office supplies to green, if I come in here, hit okay, hit apply. Now that has been changed. So if I want this to work across the board. We see that change here. If I was to come in and select my pie chart, if I come in here and drag category on the color. We see now that the same color has persisted throughout the dashboard. So every time I want to use the category, the color will stay the same. So now let me show you how to do this in Power BI. All right, so here's how you do this in Power BI. Um, as you can see, we have the same horizontal bar chart and we also have the same pie chart as well. Um, one thing when it comes to Power BI is that you typically have, for conditional formatting, you typically have to have some type of numeric value um, for it to work. But I saw this technique from a great blog post uh, from the Radicat team. And if you want to really have in-depth knowledge, I definitely suggest going through it. I'll have it listed in my web, in the blog post as well. Um, in the link. So check it out. Definitely go through it. But this is a technique I saw from them that was really cool. So basically, we just created a static table that has the category that we want and then the color as a field name itself. So in Power BI, you can reference an actual field name and use that in your calculations for your color. And so what this looks like is when we have our category, if I come in here, go to conditional formatting, and now we have the option to actually use the field value. But before I do that, let me show you the DAX I actually created. So here's the DAX. Uh, that is going to do that. So basically it's saying look up the colors category and then selected value. So basically if these categories match, then give me the colors that's in that color table else make it light blue or for everything else make it light blue. So if we go in here and go to our actual colors, conditional formatting, select field values, select our color, data color, select OK. Now we see that we have the colors in here that we have listed. So like I've mentioned in technology is red, furniture is blue, off supply is yellow. And a really cool thing that you can do now is right different visuals. You can do it. Uh, you'd have to you know do the exact same thing, apply the logic, or you can come up here and select this really cool format painter. And if you select format painter, click on here, it's done it as well. So really cool ways, couple easy techniques that I saw that you can use dimensions for your color. So if you have any questions, reach out to me, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, y'all have a great day and I will talk to y'all later.